all right good day what is cubic what is cubic today we're gonna go into what cubic actually is uh today i saw a post or a post thread on cubic there's a lot of back and, and forth on x um it let me know that a lot of people don't actually know what cubic actually is or what it does what it's meant for so today i'm gonna briefly go over some of the core main fundamentals about cubic so that uh, people who are new to the ecosystem and even people who have been in the ecosystem um, just so everybody is on the same page or really excuse me understands the knowledge uh, about cubic so they can move forward I mean if they happen to invest knowing what they're getting into you know so uh, let's get into that um, so first things first, Cubic is not a blockchain, it is a tick chain. There is a few distinct differences between blockchains and tick chains. Um, one of the main things is that how the transactions are processed. So in a blockchain like Bitcoin, you have a ledger, a permanent ledger that records transactions and each of the transactions, they're grouped into blocks right and um and each block is linked via cryptographic hashes chronologically uh, these blocks have to be confirmed validated by like all the miners uh in the world or at least a majority of them which uh sometimes can not sometimes especially for bitcoin it produces a lot of latency for the network now, Cubic's tick chain architecture replaces Bitcoin's blocks with um, time-stamped intervals called ticks. All right, these ticks aren't cryptographically linked like uh, blocks are. They're individually processed. And these ticks can be as quick as like a f 0.2 seconds to like, like it's sub a sub-second finality. So yeah, that allows instant finality for transactions on the on the tick chain as opposed to something like Bitcoin, which would take like a long time, like 13 confirmations between like all the miners in the world. And that which takes up like so much energy, like it's it's ridiculous. Um, so yeah, that's that's one of the main things to understand about Cubic. It's not a blockchain one. It is a tick chain. All right. And it is a, it's built like this in a, for a very specific reason. Uh, the reason being that Cubic's tick chain was built to host AGI, otherwise known as Artificial General Intelligence. And if you're familiar with the AI scene, uh, you, will, you will find that all the biggest AI companies, including Google, Meta, OpenAI, uh, even uh, Mr. Elon, what's his, what's, what's the, uh, oh, Grok, they're hitting a, those LLMs, large language, language models, they're hitting a wall. There's only so much data on it, like all the LLMs already consumed all the data on the internet. The only thing they can do is mix up the words more, right? They're, it's not real intelligence. And to even maybe make them better you need more and more larger data centers more it's more resources it's completely wasteful there needs to be a new like novel approach to ai let alone agi right you're going to need so like so much compute power it's it's becoming a multi trillion dollar industry all of this so i say that all of that to say that cubic is making agi more reachable with the compute it's able to to gather around it's it's gathered hundreds of thousands of decentralized miners cpu miners some gpu and they're all contributing to this agi named uh, agarth and so what does agarth have to do with this uh, tick chain and cubic uh well the the it's it's the consensus Right, any tick chain or blockchain ledger is it's gonna have a, a good consensus mechanism. So how it works in Cubic is there are 
uh, 676 computers, right? Known as validate, like otherwise known as validators. And they're chosen amongst the, the, the top miners in the ecosystem. Uh, the ones who contribute the most efficient um, solutions to the models that are helping to train Agarth and who give the most compute power to the network are, are ranked, right? That's, that's how the 676 computers are ranked amongst all the miners. Whoever's co um, contributing the most compute and good solutions to agarth are the ones that are the top validators all right so that's the useful proof of work consensus mechanism behind cubic as opposed to something like bitcoin which is just hashing random puzzles in order to validate a transaction all the compute and heat made by the cubic network is actually contributing to like humanity by training ai models that are useful. Uh, that being said, with Cubic's network, it's actually so powerful that the the network doesn't need the entire compute in order to train its AI, which is like I mentioned, Agarth. So, with fifty percent of the idle time, fifty percent of the time that, of the network of the idle CPU time, they use that right now as a proof of work concept to um, mine Monero and this token Tari. And what they're doing with these tokens is they're selling them for profit and buying back more cubic and uh, sort of pushing the price up um, by burning tokens off the market with lots of money. They're not just little buybacks, these are huge buybacks. So you have the useful proof of work side of cubic which validates the, the transactions and keeps the the network going and then you have the proof of work which can outsource its compute for other things all right so cubic is like a double-edged sword it's one of the craziest revenue generating like flywheels i've ever seen like it's been working for the last few weeks and it's going to continue to work it's going to keep generating more money because like i said previously I think I said it earlier, uh, compute is becoming a, it already, it's, it's becoming a multi-trillion dollar industry. So Cubic is gonna, what they're showing right now, what they're capable of doing is super tremendous. Like it's, they're flying so under the radar. And if you go in their discord and you see what the founder, uh, Sergey Ivanchegov, otherwise known as uh, CFB, all right, by his, his online moniker, he's really, he's really got something up his sleeve because he says a lot of wild shit, but they end up happening. Like the things he says he's going to do up until this point, if you've been following for the last like year and a half, two years, you know, like it's not a joke. Like he's, what he's saying, he's executing. Like I want to say almost flawlessly but like no one's perfect but yeah this thing's this, this thing is going somewhere it's a it's a beautiful idea and it's for the greater good like i don't there's no uh yeah there's there's nothing more to say about it so yeah that that, that that's my uh short brief on cubic uh and what it actually is that, so hopefully that was a brief rundown. There are more, a lot more technical aspects of Cubic that maybe if there are more questions in the future from you guys, I can break down for you. But uh, I just wanted to make this one short. So maybe you get like a brief, like the, a little more than just a surface level hype and like what Cubic actually is. So yeah, let me know in the comments or don't let me know either way <laughs> i hope you enjoyed it uh, share with cubicans or 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 people who might just be interested all right bye bye oh yeah shit don't forget to check out my boy's website let me see kirby check out my boy josh kirby's shop is kirby's.threadless.com he's got t-shirts He's got scars, he's got duvets, magnets, freaking skateboards.
You got stuff for your kids, long sleeve shirts, hoodies. Yeah, gift cards. Yeah, go visit this, get some uh get some merch, get some cubic merch from Kirby. All right.